what are different types of superconductors depending upon their behavior in an external magnetic field the superconductors are classified into two types type 1 superconductors and type 2 superconductors in type 1 superconductors if you increase the magnetic field the magnetization increases linearly after reaching a certain magnetic field called critical magnetic field the magnetization suddenly becomes zero so this type of materials are called type 1 superconductors simply in superconductors in which the magnetization suddenly becomes zero those materials are called type 1 superconductors these type 1 superconductors are called soft superconductors because they will lose their superconductivity very easily very easily means very small fields are required the critical fields are very less in type 1 superconductors means even small magnetic field is enough to destroy the superconducting phenomena in these materials those are called type 1 superconductors and these type 1 superconductors perfectly obey this Meissner effect example of type 1 superconductors are aluminium zinc if you see their critical magnetic field 0 0.0105 tesla and for zinc it is 0 0.0054 tesla which is very very less and in this graph uh, we have uh, several materials with their temperatures and their critical temperature how it is varying in type 2 superconductors with applying magnetic field the magnetization increases linearly up to certain magnetic field called first critical magnetic field indicated by hc1 in the graph and if we increase magnetic field beyond hc1 the magnetization started decreasing slowly but not suddenly like in super, uh, type 1 superconductors so in type 2 superconductors the magnetization starts decreasing above the critical magnetic field hc1 exponentially and it will become zero at a critical magnetic field hc2 this is called second critical magnetic field so this first one hc1 is called first critical magnetic field or lower critical magnetic field and hc2 is called upper critical magnetic field so the region between this hc1 and hc2 is called vertex state or mixed state and the region below hc1 is called superconducting state and the region above hc2 is called normal conducting region these type 2 superconductors are also known as hard superconductors because of this reason that they lose their superconductivity gradually but not easily and they require very high magnetic field to destroy the superconducting phenomena that's why those are called hard superconductors and this type 2 superconductors obey Meissner effect but not completely like uh, type 1 superconductors and the examples of uh, type 2 superconductors are niobium nitrate whose critical magnetic field is 8 into 10 power 6 tesla and uh, BABA3 critical magnetic field is 53 into 10 power 3 tesla you can see uh, the difference between the critical magnetic fields of type 1 and type 2 superconductors here and the applications of type 2 superconductors are uh, they are very much useful in producing high magnetic fields if we summarize the differences between these type 1 and type, sup type 2 superconductors type 1 superconductor materials uh, lose their magnetization suddenly but in type 2 they will lose their magnetization gradually and type 1 superconductors exhibit Meissner effect whereas type 2 superconductor does not exhibit complete Meissner effect and the critical magnetic fields are very less in type 1 superconductor and in type 2 superconductors the critical magnetic fields are very high when compared to type 1 superconductors type 1 superconductors are called uh, soft superconductors and type 2 superconductors are called hard superconductors and there are several examples and the other important feature of uh, superconducting material is isotopic effect means the critical temperature depends on the isotopic mass of the element for example in this graph if you see mercury 
mercury 198 transition temperature is around 4.18 kelvin whereas mercury 203.4 transition temperature is around 4.125 so there is a difference between the transition temperature with the isotopic mass this is called isotopic effect so the critical temperature tc is directly proportional to m power minus 1 by 2 where m is called isotopic mass this is called isotopic effect 